Hey, Playa, have you ever found yourself standing in a group of people having a conversation and wanting to interject and be a part of it, but not knowing what to say at all? Maybe your inner introvert kicked in or you drew a blank and had no clue what to say, or the people were talking about something that wasn't related to you at all. Don't worry. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to manage those group conversations, how to be a part of them, and how to not feel so lonely if people leave you out of them. Something that I think is important to recognize here is that generally in group conversations, there tends to be one or two people that are the heavy extroverts controlling the ship. They're the ones that usually pick the topics that the group is talking about, and generally they're the ones talking the loudest, thereby getting everyone's attention. The first thing I want you to know is don't compete with the extroverts. You are totally different people. A lot of times we can get that hint of jealousy or annoyance at the fact that they're getting all the attention and it's something that you want. But if you try to step in and challenge them or take their position in the group dynamic, it can actually backfire on you. So I'm playing Call of Duty and man, I'm on fire. I've never gotten so many kills before in my life. And literally one second right after the round ended, a grenade exploded. Tell me that it's not the craziest thing you've heard today. I eat toilet paper. I think that's crazier than what I said. Your goal shouldn't be to command attention just for the sake of commanding attention. That's when you end up with a role that you're not gonna be happy with, like the class clown or the weirdo. You're better than that. Be yourself, don't be something just so other people can like you. So then what are you supposed to do? How do you get into the conversation when you don't know what to say? Well, I'm gonna spitfire a bunch of tactics at you. Try stepping away from the conversation and coming back in and saying something like, sorry, I got distracted. What did you last say? I missed it. That's gonna now allow that person to repeat it and take note of you in that group dynamic. Try to keep your eye out for people that are half paying attention to the conversation. Maybe they're on their phone or they're looking around. Those are people you can kind of start a little sidebar conversation with. Ask an open-ended question to everyone in the group so they can each go around and share their opinions. This is a good way to get everyone involved and it allows you to kind of be the arbiter and control that conversation. But what do these tactics look like in practice? Let me show you. I went to the movies last week with this girl and you won't believe what happened. I ended up going to get popcorn and I forgot what theater we were in and I ended up going into the wrong one and spent half an hour looking for her. Sorry, I missed that last part. How long did you spend looking for her? Oh, like 30 minutes, man. Like, I don't even know what I was thinking. I just walked into the wrong theater. I know, hey dude, right? that's crazy. Like, did you so hear that? Oh, hey, hey man, hey. Hey man, what's up? I feel like we haven't talked in a while. I know, right? It's been a while. Look, nothing like that's ever happened to me before, so I totally can't relate. But what about you? Me either, man. The only date I've been on is with Pamela and her five sisters. All jokes aside, entering a group conversation is not always going to be easy. Sometimes you're in a situation where two people are just talking back and forth and there's no way for you to interject. So what do you do? Well, in those situations, it's okay to walk away. I know it might feel awkward to leave the conversation, but there's no reason to subject yourself to two people having a one-on-one -on -one conversation in a group setting if you're not a part of it. One simple way to eject yourself from that conversation is to simply say, you guys look like you're heavy into this right now. I'm gonna come back for the conclusion though. And then just walk away. You don't have to continue being a part of it. Now, what if you walk into a place and you're not part of the initial group? You're just someone who wants to enter it. What do you say and how do you get them to accept you? Well, you can use the same tactics I mentioned before, just change up the words a little bit and say something like, hey, I overheard you mention this thing and it caught my attention. Can you repeat that back? I'm really interested to hear this story. What that's going to do is make the speaker feel special, repeat back their story, and now include you in the group as a listener and an active participant. Entering a new group setting can still be super scary though. Sometimes you say what you need to say and people still look at you like, who invited this person? Why are they here? If you find yourself in a group though, where people don't want to talk to you or listen to you or even interact with you, then pull yourself out of that situation. You deserve way better than to just stand around with people that you don't really like, that are tolerating your existence but don't really care about you. But if you really want to stand out in a group conversation, the two best things you can do is to be an active listener and an active storyteller. Ask questions and dive deeper into the things that people share. This is going to let them see that you care about what they have to say and it's going to make them want to open up more to you and share your own stories with them. Let them get a close look into your life to learn about your likes and your dislikes, your hobbies and your interests and all the crazy things that have happened to you before. That's gonna open the group up to wanna ask you questions so that they can kind of put you front and center to really see who you are. You should know by now that I believe that you have what it takes to be somebody great. Just your being you is enough. The stories and experiences and things you've gone through are great things to share. I'm curious, what do you think though? Do you have trouble standing out in group conversations? Do you tend to fade into the background and just be the quiet one there? Leave your comments down below and we'll talk about it. 
Now what I want you to do is check out the videos over there on the side, which is going to dive more into starting group conversations, talking to people and opening up. Check out those videos and I'll catch you next time. As always, love and peace.